Hey YouTube, Mark Kaufman here with another video for you and this is the AG Russell Knives one-handed opening knife. This knife I think is a great contender for somebody that wants the feeling of a small Sabenza. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, my reasons for that are it has sleek lines. The build quality on this is impeccable for what you're paying for it. You're paying about $80 for this knife. I picked this up second hand and AG designed this knife in the 80s and this is a mid-range of this model. He has this model with bone, I believe, um, and I think he even has it in stag, and I think also um, with Damascus. Now, he uses his patented front lock. It's basically a mid lock, but literally at the front, so you can open and close this knife very easily with one hand. Now, granted, that actually takes a little bit of um, practice. Um, it's a little awkward. He says that you should grab it with these two fingers and pull on it this way. And I'm thinking, I don't know how to do that because you're supposed to like push against the blade here with your index finger and it'll lift that up. Nope. I've learned that you can just use your thumb, lift it up, do it that way. But this blade, yes, it's not S30V or S35. I don't know which one um, he's using on Sabenzas nowadays. Um, doesn't really stack up. In quality, this is 9CR13COMOV. Um, it doesn't stack up to that same quality, but it's not like 8CR. You know, it's not your 8CR14 either. You've got a 9CR13 MOV blade. Um, C, uh, CO, not CR. Um, but you can see that this knife really just locks into the hand. Really just locks in primarily because of those G10 liner, not liners, um, scales, thank you, um, scales there, because that, the way he's designed it, they actually kind of extend outward, and so you can get a really nice grasp on it, um, but I just wanted to bring this one to you, your attention, and, um, I think it's a great knife, and I would consider it a great alternative to somebody that wants to have a small Sabenza, but I mean, really can't afford it. I mean, I can't. I've I've only had um, one small, and um, you know, I can't be sitting on that kind of knife money all the time. So I did sell it. Um, <clears throat> but this is a wonderful knife by a wonderful brand. Um, I don't see a lot of people talking about AG Russell knives. And I think more people should. Um, they really do have great designs. You can just see how thin that is. I mean, it's it's ridiculously thin. These are titanium liners here. So you've got a titanium backspacer. You've got a titanium thumb stud disc. Um, and you've got titanium liners. This is... Um, this is just a, a great blade, and I think, and you can see, that it does take a little bit of practice to use this knife, but I think this is a, a, a wonderful blade. A very wonderful blade. And he calls this blade shape, if you're wondering, a drop point sheep's foot. So, I like it because it's easy to sharpen. You don't have any curves, nothing too crazy. Really easy to sharpen this knife. So hope you enjoy this video and I hope you enjoy seeing uh, enjoyed seeing this knife um, you can see here that it's just a, it's a wonderful design pocket clip is um, stellar you can see here it's left and right hand carry 
and um, it's just a wonderful blade, wonderful blade, and I think it's worthy of people looking into it and checking them out. Thank you so much for checking out this video, and um, if you have subscribed, I really appreciate it. Channel is growing one by one, and uh, I really thank you for your comments and uh, for your views. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much.